Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. You know who I am, and I hate all of you. Meow. Well, Susie, there's no need for you to be like that. Well, of course there's a need for me to be like that. So there. Meow. Hello, everyone. I'm Carrie. And I'm Humphrey. Today is Thursday, everyone. Who wants to hit Thanos with Starbreaker? <laughs> Whoa, Humphrey. Really? You, you want to use Stormbreaker? Yeah. Because, come on. We want, we keep saying we want to hit 2020 with a, with Stormbreaker, but every time we say that, bad things happen. Yeah, you're right. And we can all point to that ugly purple space raisin. Yes! Besides, oranges are better than purple space raisins. <laughs> oh, and by the way, we're here today for another round of some exciting things from the world of J.R. Token. Coming back to join us is our friend, Justin Bergman. I was played by a toy paper. Huh. All right, where's the applause button? Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Had I known I'd get this much applause, I would come back more often. <clears throat> well, you should. Okay, so we're hanging out with Justin Bergman again. And if you guys think this is just another rehashing of our blog, the one where we talked about diversity representation, <laughs> you're wrong. I mean, we are going to talk about that a bit, but we're just going to hang out and geek out over everything. Okay. Now, guys, a lot of exciting things happened during this whole week. Such as, on Tuesday, we celebrated Hobbit Day. Yes, we're just a birthday of Bilbo Baggins and Frodo Baggins. <laughs> wow, which is very exciting because, wow, they were the main protagonists in the box called The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings. Huh. Yep. And not only that, we celebrated the 83rd anniversary of the publication of The Hobbit. Yeah, we're going by 1937, not 1938. When it was published in the United States. I mean, what do they have against publishing things in the United States? And, and... At the same time, as in Britain. Yeah, can't we just have it all published in all the countries at once? Yeah, that's pretty fair to everyone. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, guys, I got something interesting. What? <laughs> hey, Humphrey. Yeah. Yeah, Humphrey? Oh, yeah. Hey, Humphrey, I saw you in that video. The one where you and Velvet and Laura were doing that bad meme made by Puppy Lover 863 Oh, come on. We are not going to talk about that. That was the worst 12 minutes of my life. You mean the worst 12 seconds of your life? I know what I said. No, that was the worst. That was the best 12 seconds of my life. And it was put on Instagram Reels. woo hoo 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 I know. It was so funny. <laughs> I don't find that funny. Well, I do. <laughs> Me too. Oh, what's this? A little camera was humiliated on the internet. <laughs> ah, Loki. Again? Ah, why do you always show up, Loki? Because I like to show up. And be naughty. Ah! 
Why do you always interrupt that show? Because I like interrupting your show. <laughs> ah! Oh, and by the way, I saw something very interesting that you guys should hear. Oh no! Oh, what? What is it? Oh come on! Tell me it's not that Leonard Nimoy song. Oh great! Now they're gonna sing it. Do, 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 do. In the middle of the earth and the land of the shower lives a brave little hobbit who we all admire with his long wooden pipe, fuzzy woolly toes. He lives in the hobbit hole and everybody knows him. Bilbo, Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins, he's only three feet tall. Bilbo, Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins, the greatest little hobbit of them all. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Hmm. Yes, little bunny. I absolutely forbid you to ever play that evil song. Oh, you don't like that song? Oh, too bad. Because I'm playing it. Great. Ah, it's like the classic Rick Roll. Ugh. You think Rick Roll is bad? <laughs> I mean, at least it's a troll or low song. Yeah. But the worst thing is, <laughs> it's like we got Spock rolled. Yeah, I mean, who gave Leonard Nimoy the idea to s and the lyrics to the Bilbo Baggins song? Hmm. Oh, I know, right? That is so illogical. Like there was this meme where Spock says, "No, Kirk, you can't be a Hobbit. You have to have pointy ears and a cape." Oh my god! Really? I know, right? <laughs> oh, great. Why, Loki? Why? Because I love messing with you. <laughs> oh, and by the way, to everybody listening at home, if you don't watch my show when it comes out on your Disney Plus, Oh, you're going to get in a lot of trouble from me. <laughs> ah! <sighs> really, Susie? You always do that. Ah, I am tired of that stupid Loki. I am not stupid. Wow. Why are you going to be so naughty? Can't you just be good? Yeah, be good, Loki. Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot be good. And I am not the bad guy. I am the god of mischief. <laughs> ah, great. So, uh, man, if I could, we could dedicate an hour just having us complain about. Oh, great. Somebody keeps singing the Bilbo Baggins song. Yeah. Huh. Which is pretty funny because on September 8th, we celebrated the birthday of one Martin Freeman who played Bilbo in the Hobbit movies, the ones done by Peter Jackson. Yeah, those movies are better. Much better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let me tell you something, okay? If I ever see that ugly Elf version of the red world walking around here in real life. Oh, it'll be too soon. Oh, look at me. <sighs> I am your elf friend. Ah! Red world, get out of here. <laughs> what? I can't hang out with you. This is Tia Token. Well, I'm from Token. Yeah, right. Look at you. You think you're so cool wearing your shutter shades and riding on your swag stack. Yeah, don't think we don't know about the swag stack because we do. Everybody knows about the swag stack. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The swag stack. Ooh. Well, I, uh, well, I, uh, oh, no, 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 go away! Oh, oh, why not? You cannot be invited here. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. 
But there can only be one diva in here. And you are not it. Now out, out, out! Well, jeez. <laughs> I can't believe it. Loki wants to be like the only guy in the show. I am the only one in the show who can do that. Do what? I am the god of mischief. And I said, mischief. <laughs> oh, great. Ah, this is just so annoying. Well, at least we don't have to deal with orcs. Wait, let's go back to Martin Freeman. And he was Bilbo. Yeah, and he was also one of them token white guys. Yeah, <laughs> like the ones featured in Black Panther. Yeah, the other one was Andy Serkis. And you were right. That guy was having way too much fun. <laughs> of course he was having too much fun. I mean, during my downtime, I watched the all the Hobbit movies, you know, the Senate version ones. And I also watched Black Panther for good measure. But I, you were right. Andy Circus was having way too much fun. <laughs> oh, I mean, you're right. He did butcher that song, What is Love? From Hathaway. I know. That is so embarrassing. And then me, I bet T'Challa was like thinking, Arr! They ruined my jam! I ought to punch him in the face. And then Akwai is probably like, I bet he calls all the white guys precious. Yeah. Like, my precious, my precious. You want to listen to my sound cloud? Work, work, how play this crashes. Ew. I know. So embarrassing. Yeah, so lame. I mean, come on. He was quite convincing in that role. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, though, look, we got them talking white guys <laughs> talking about another game of riddles. But this time, it's called Game of Vibramium. Yeah, my brain we are. <laughs> I have never, ever, ever. <sighs> I will never get tired of those bad jokes about the token white guys. Yeah, it's funny. Because we did talk about that part. I know. And, and, and it was like, it's like how you, you guys said. Now, remember what we said about diversity representation. If you want someone to tell your story, you do it yourself, okay? Stop waiting on Hollywood to do it for you. You want something done, you do it yourself. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. It was just like in that one movie we all did together when we were talking about diversity representation. And why Andy wrinkles the script never got off the floor. Andy and Laura tricked us. <sighs> Uncle's understatement. Yeah, and now I was a golden retriever <laughs> who got into a fight with Philip. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was hilarious. <laughs> but you weren't talking with that snarky voice. I know, right? But I was still snarky. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We were working. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, let's dial it back a bit to something better. We're going to talk Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Like, did anybody see the new trailer for WandaVision? Oh, I did. And that show is messed up. And I am ready for it. Yeah, it's so messed up. It's funny. I mean, you got characters we haven't heard from in ages. Yeah, we're getting, we're we're getting grown Monica Rambo. I'm like, yes, we don't have to wait till Captain Marvel round two to see her grown. I mean, does this mean she's also getting her powers in that show? She probably will. And then we will see the return. 
on one Darcy Lewis, who probably is working for S.W.O.R.D.? I mean, they're all working for S.W.O.R.D. Yeah, and then, and then Wanda and Vision are going to get back together, but something ain't right. What? It's like Inception, where Wanda and Vision are like, something just isn't right. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, that, that mom from that 70s show is a bad guy, and she's terrifying. Yeah. Man, I kept waiting for the dad in the, that 70s show to show up and go, Dumbass! <laughs> yeah. I, I was waiting for that. And then we were all disappointed when it never happened. Ah! Oh. Come on, Loki, stop doing that. I can be naughty if I would. <laughs> <sighs> well, after that segment, <laughs> yeah, but look, we are waiting on WandaVision. It's going to be awesome. And we're also getting the Mandalorian season two. Oh, that's going to be great. And people are going to be all in on the action. Yeah, except though, there will be more little Yoda. Yeah, but he's not baby Yoda per se. Yeah, he's really the child. Yeah, the child. I mean, I mean, he looks like baby Yoda. I mean, he looks like Yoda. He's actually 50 years old, but he's still a baby and everybody thinks he's cute. I know. Isn't he great? <laughs> yeah. Poor baby Groot got replaced. Nah, he's teenager Groot. Yeah. And then he'll be like, I am Groot. Like, he's got an attitude or something. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty funny, though. Okay, you guys saw the Dune trailer. Oh, we did. Was it good? Oh. I have a feeling that movie's gonna be Good. Yes. Good. And we are all here for it. Yes. <sighs> of course, I got some bad news, though. Oh, well, we already know what happened. They pushed back. They pushed back Black Widow, Shang-Chi, and the Eternals. So everything shifted a little to the right. Oh, wow. Okay, let's be fair, though. Disney really let the ball go with Mulan. Ah. Yeah, and of course, I bet somebody who had been working, I bet somebody watched your, watched our, heard our review on Mulan, and then Tiara started singing. What song did she get? Oh, right. <clears throat> You're unsuited for. The adult world, so pack up, go home, you through. How can I make a man out of you? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty harsh. Yeah. And now, here's a harsh, here's another harsh reality. Black Widow is a movie that is meant to be shown in theaters, okay? Theaters, okay? Come on. We're not going to put on video demand. We are going to wait till theaters are completely and totally and 100% fully open to its full capacity, and then we can go see it. Or let's say have a drive-in. And we can bring our own snacks and we can watch it in our cars. Yeah. That would be pretty awesome as well. But come on. Does it matter? We need a Black Widow movie to be in theaters and theaters only. Yeah. And Black Widow also sets up the Thunderbolts, which is Marvel's version of the Suicide Squad. Led by one Thunderbolt Ross. Who is clearly about to get his butt whooped by Amanda Waller because she came up with the idea for the Suicide Squad. Yeah. Who Amanda Waller is going to whoop his butt. His big Red Hulk butt. Yeah. But, yeah, wow. Somebody's going to get the 
but what? Ooh, are we talking violence? Oh, yes, I want to see that happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, speaking of which, I think the Marvel vs. DC movie wars have been ended forever. No thanks to James Gunn. Yep, that's it. The Marvel vs. DC movie universe wars has ended forever. <laughs> and now everybody's going to have to shake hands. Because when, when James Gunn gets done throwing the Suicide Squad... He's going to turn around and do Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we will not be seeing no Fat Thor in it. Ooh, Fat Thor. Ew. I know. Thor just got fat and ugly and started playing that. Yeah, that Fortnite. <laughs> you play Fortnite? Yeah, like Fortnite. Who do you play with? I play with Pinky, Maddox, David, <laughs> Luna, and Dodges, and uh, and uh, hey Justin, y'all y'all to come play with us when we play Fortnite. Fortnite? <laughs> you really want to play Fortnite? No, dude, I play Overwatch. Come on, dude, it's Fortnite. <laughs> come on, we're gonna be playing some Fortnite. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'll hope that Noob Master dude don't show up. Oh my. You hope Noob Master doesn't show up? <laughs> ah! It was you! Oh yes, it was me. I love messing with people. <laughs> ah! So rude. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Why you, why you gotta always, always gotta go around messing with us? Because I can't. <laughs> okay. So, now let's move on to a new subject. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, guys, I was watching, I, I, I watched, I heard your podcast on chat with Bozeman. I'm like, I'm like, man, what a tragedy. I mean, I didn't even know he had cancer. I know. Bow. I hate cancer. Bow. <sighs> I mean, I mean, we didn't even know he had cancer. I mean, he kept his cancer so quiet, nobody really knew. So, I mean, I was really living in the moment until I saw, I saw a photo of him on Instagram and with news of his death. And I'm thinking, oh no, not him! And I was upset. I was, I, I mean, the last time we were this upset was Stan Lee. And then I'm like, of course, Stan Lee was old. Yeah, but now Stan Lee is probably like, look, coronavirus, don't make me come down there, you punk! Oh, but, but still, I mean, yeah, like, Chadwick Boseman was our Black Panther, our king. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, he was gone way too soon. I'm like, he, like, according to an article, he said he was going to beat this thing, then turn around and get back to doing Black Panther round two. Yeah, round two. Like, what's going to happen next? Well, we all know that T'Challa's going to have to deal with helping rebuild Wakanda after half the kingdom got snapped to death. Boom! Yeah. Boom! What a tragedy! Boom! Stupid space raisin. And then, we want to see T'Challa rebuild Wakanda and help the rest of the world rebuild. We want to see Okoye get her Starbucks, because that woman wants a Starbucks. We want to see uh, the Wakanda do the Olympics. Oh, yeah. And I meant to tell you guys uh, that uh, 
Well, I read, I I bought all of Christopher Priest's omnibus of Black Panther, and then we found out that it was being told from the viewpoint of Everett Ross. And then, of course, at one point, T'Challa makes Everett wear the Black Panther suit. Oh, yeah. As a regent? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> so they did put him in the suit. Yep. And he took over as regent until T'Challa returned. Yeah, but there is a good, there is one problem we can't help but wonder. What? Should we apologize to Thanos or make him take it back? Take it back! Yeah. But first, we don't want to recast him. We Let's not recast T'Challa's role and let's not kill him off, okay? That would be too sad. Oh, we could have Shuri take over as Black Panther. And if not Shuri, we could have Ambaku. Yeah. <laughs> well, but then we'd have to explain what happened to T'Challa. Well, it is our my head cannon that Neymar probably did it. Hey, guys, don't blame me. It's not my fault. Ah! 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 Oh, goodness, no more. What are you doing here? <laughs> and who is he? Oh, nobody. Just Aquaman's second-rate cousin. Hey, rude. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. I don't like you. Hey, Loki, let's be friends. No, we do not be friends. I will crush you. You annoying Ugh! underwater jerk! Man, I don't even know what's going on here, but whoa, 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 you guys can't fight. Come on, no fighting in the studio, okay? We barely recovered from the last fights you guys had. Really? Look. I was here first. I am a I am a hero, okay? Look at me. I was one of the first superheroes. Can't you guys just like me? And I mean, what does Aquaman have? He's from DC. Yeah. Well, guess what? Unlike you, check out my costume. Woo! Oh, that. Dumb gold and green costume? Yeah, I made it look awesome. And I got muscles. Cool. I got muscles too. You <laughs> and then you know what else I got? I got what you don't have. What? A red haired girlfriend. Woo! So in your face no more. Hey! Well, let's not forget to mention that Aquaman has a billion dollar movie. Hmm? Where's your billion dollar movie? Hey, that's not very nice. That's right, out of the studio. Hey! Ooh, yep, sorry, buddy. Can't hang out with us. Yeah, come back when you have a billion dollar movie. <laughs> Rude! You're all gonna pay for this. Yeah, and besides, your costume sucks anymore. Can you learn to wear something other than a Speedo swimsuit that you probably stole from an Olympic swimmer? Jeez. <sighs> Man, that guy was annoying. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Ew. Well, I was just like to hang out with you guys. Yeah, at least at least you're you're getting a sequel. No, his sequel won't come out till about two thousand twenty-two. Yeah, that'll give him more than enough time to develop the story. Oh yeah, and uh, by the way, <laughs> for all of us who haven't noticed yet, <sighs> noticed what? Oh, <clears throat> unfortunately, we did talk about how. Everything in the Marvel Cinematic Universe had a shift to the right, so did Falcon and Winter Soldier. Ah, wait, but to be fair, though, 
Black Widow has to set up the Thunderbolts first. Ugh, Thunderbolts, so lame. Hey, are they trying to steal from the Suicide Squad? Told ya. Yeah. <sighs> huh. I'll show that Thunderbolt Ross not to go messing with stuff from DC. Yeah, you know, there would be a Squadron Supreme. Yeah, wow. Well, and the Squadron Supreme is like poking fun at everything Justice League related. I'm pretty sure they might have something about Aquaman, but wait, we just remember something. What? Nobody makes fun of Aquaman and expects to wake up in the morning. Yeah. I mean, rude. I know, right? Yeah. <sighs> I know. Oh. But in case there's some guy who looks like you and is Aquaman without using the name Aquaman, we'll let you know. Good, so I can beat him up right after I get done beating up that no more. Hmm, who does that guy think he is? Such a high-headed upstart. <sighs> I know, right? <clears throat> Man, should have seen how bad it was during the fan, the Lord of the Rings fan series video. Oh, yeah. They got to a fight so bad, it messed up the recording. Oh, my goodness, wasn't that bad? It messed up the recording. <laughs> of course. Bleah. Okay, but back to Falcon and Winter Soldier. Look, if Black Widow sets up the, the Thunderbolts, Falcon and Winter Soldier puts them in the show. Yeah, and besides... We can get our, we can do it the Justice League without having to do the Justice League and get in trouble with DC. Of course, though, Stan Lee did create his own version of DC characters. But still. Uh -huh. You know, it would have made Justice League and Suicide Squad. And all that would have been better if Stan Lee were in it. Wait. But you can only have him in there for a second, and only a second, and then you gotta get, and then you gotta kick him out because he took over the movie. Yeah, Teen Titans Go got it right. <laughs> yeah, they had it correct because of Stan Lee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the superhero movie we're doing is still on. Is it, Duchess? Yep, the movie's still on, folks. And yes, we are going to try and get a Stan Lee cameo in there. <laughs> yep. And uh, maybe we should have him do something like, Don't mind me, everybody. I'm just doing my Stan Lee thing. I'm just going to give me give me a few seconds and I'll be out of your way. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Stan Lee shows up and does a Stan Lee thing. Yeah. I remember you mentioned that in the Black Panther story. Yeah, and we did. We mentioned that in the Black Panther story, and not only did we mention that in the Black Panther story, we also mentioned it in. Huh? We well, we did in in the Talking White Guys cast, and we 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 even talked about it in the Legacy of Tolkien. Yeah. So. And in other words, <laughs> well, we talked about a lot of things today while just hanging out. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Before we forget, today is the 40th anniversary of Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Dang! You just made a whole bunch of people feel old, don't you, Tara? Yep. Yeah, and it was like the the shocking plot twist of Darth Vader re announcing that he is Luke Skywalker's father. I mean, whoa! How many of us saw that coming? Well, back then they didn't have the internet like we do today, so that would have been a surprise. I mean, even today, and we're like, okay, yeah, we could have seen it coming from a mile away, but still, <sighs> it's heydays. Still, 
That is shocking with a capital S. Yeah. Like, come on. Luke Skywalker is Darth Vader's son? And not only that, he had a sister. Oh, yeah. Can't forget about Leia. I mean, we weren't about to write her off the page. Not yet. Of course, though, we... Look, The Empire Strikes Back may have been a phenomenal achievement in Star Wars. <sighs> yeah, and then a good part of that repeated itself in The Last Jedi. Ooh. But we'll always have The Rise of Skywalker. Huh. <laughs> because there's no way that Ray is going to let that name die out. Not anytime soon. Yeah. And we just hope that they develop a show around Finn being a Jedi. Yep. And that's that. Okay, everybody. This has been Tea and Token Thursdays. Where we hung out with me, <laughs> Justin Bergman. Yes, Justin, you're going to have to come back to the show soon. Because, you know, look, when we get people coming on our show, it makes it a lot more fun. Yeah, we got to get Lee Warren and Elena back on the show. Yeah, but the problem is they're so dogs. Oh, yeah. We got to turn them back into humans. That is embarrassing. Yeah. Wait, wait. And before we go, we got another piece of news. Yeah. Tara came up with a new song. Right, Tiara? Yep. And it happened yesterday. And he goes up like this. <clears throat> oh, happy birthday to Captain America. Hooray. That is all that we can say. <laughs> well, because I forgot the rest of the lyrics to the song. Oh, we need to perform that. <laughs> yeah. At least, though... <laughs> It was for Anthony Mackie, who is Falcon, and Falcon takes over from Captain America in the books. But Captain America was played by a guy called Chris, who played a guy called Steve got to an airplane crash. When did we see this before? Oh, yeah. We're getting the same thing in Wonder Woman 84, which I hope we can see in theaters this year. And, yep, and guess what? We already know it's gonna. We already know it's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, and of course, when she gets her Steve back, yeah, and somebody needs to play the song. It's been a long, long, long time. Yeah, somebody needs to make a video about Diana and Steve dancing. Wait, 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 wait. We got a Steve and Wonder Woman who's played by a guy called Chris. <laughs> You mean Chris Pine? Ross was fine. Of course. Oh, very great. Great. We already got some guys called Chris playing guys called Steve. And they got into an airplane crash. Yeah. And then they wake up in a completely different era. Ugh. Yeah. I know. I think we could do a song. Which goes like this. How are we going to do it? Let's do this. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And it's, that's all we know. There are Christmas taking over Hollywood. Whether your last name is Hemsworth or Pratt or Pine or Evans or Rock or Christopherson or red or i don't know there's like way too many christmas for us to like deal with right now <sighs> well we got chris brown doing the music christopher nolan could direct <laughs> and we got chris martin singing the vocals <sighs> too many christmas for us to deal with Let's keep going. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And it's the same every day. It doesn't matter where you go. There's a Chris there and a Chris there. A Chris over there and a Chris over there. Chris is everywhere. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Forget Halloween or Thanksgiving. Christmas is where it is. 
We got the Chris is playing superheroes. Chris is being awesome. They should make every day Christmas Day. Woo! Yeah, you know what? We need to make a song about that. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Thank you all for hanging out with us on this wonderful Thursday evening. Yeah, with your team, your token, and hanging out with Justin Bergman. Hey! And we got Loki. Ugh. And if anybody decides, we're not going to watch your show, Loki. Oh, you will be pranked. Uber pranked. Yeah! So, well... No, he's just kidding. I mean, yeah, he's gonna prank him, but just, just, just hold on to your rooms, cause he will probably mess them up. And remember, everybody, stay safe out there, stay sane out there, and we will see you next week. Yeah. Now, I own this podcast, and the podcast is over. So, meow. Goodbye. 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 Me. Mm-hmm.